Hello, they say that the fastest edited videos are always the most likely to get the most likes. Let's put that in a test. I'm editing right now a Jetland MMD model. I don't remember where I got this one from. Anyways, I'm going to be using the MMD tools. I select the bone hierarchy and then I come into motion. I'm going to be importing a 7 rings VMD uh, file that I got of uh, bowl roll, I think it was. And let's play it back. Alright, so that's her. Everything is great. Um, I don't think she's got physics though. Anyways, if we play back, we'll see Jelan, you know, do the thing. But here's the interesting part. I'm going to be switching to the video sequencer. And on the video sequencer, I'm going to be dragging the the web file and I was helped by Paolo Acampora to make a fork for one of the video sequencer tools which was this uh, audio meter. Now the good thing about this is that you can scrub and you can see if the audio meter goes out or across the levels or if it stays within the admitted range for you to play back. Now this will solve a lot of the problems that we usually have whenever we're editing soundtrack in the VSE without an audio meter. But thanks to Paolo, he forked a version of this from Hudson Barkley and he created this tool along with other things for the VSE, but I asked Paolo if he could, you know, just like leave this one because that's everything I needed on the VSE to make it light uh, play, you know, to play it faster we can see it so and he created the update function and other things anyway so this is Jelan and she's got this thing and now we're going to play back to listen to okay that sounds nice cool I have to I have to stop it because otherwise I'll get you know copyright content thing so yeah this is Jelan now what the what the interesting thing about Jelan is going to be if this video ever hits some sort of a thousand views or something is that we're going to be working on the uh, Genshin Impact shading method that they used and it's very interesting and I'm willing to show it to you with this model because it's it's very practical and I really want to put all the um, editing effort there don't forget that she comes with you know expressions you cannot see this because right now it is on um, another language but if you come here into edit preferences uh, I don't know if you probably know this, but you can come here into text rendering. Right now I have this interface font, but if I get this out and then uh, return to the original text and then I switch here to, I guess it's uh, Simplify Chinese. Yeah, here we go. And you can see all the original language being described there. So if you copy that and then you come to Google Translate, um, select the text language stamp it there and then you will read it right here okay so i know that there is a an add-on that automatically translates some of these things in blender okay but i don't really know what the name of that was but i saw it a long time ago like a, like two or three years ago that's okay and the next thing we want to do is to know what kind of intent the original animator had with the dance we are going to import the camera animation. So select the camera animation. And by the way, this is something I have not covered in my previous other tutorials. Check the cards in the upper right corner. You can see all my previous VMD uh, setups with Blender. This one is a new one. We're using Blender 3.2. So it's the most recent one. So Blender 3.2, we're going to import the camera motion. So press N in the panel in the 3D viewport and we want to go all the way until we find the MMD tools, I guess. If you don't have them, because I have gotten so many questions about it, you need to install the add-ons, which is called MMD tools. That's what it's called. You need to go into Google and type Blender MMD tools add-on, okay? So just click there on the GitHub page. It's going to take you to the uh, development page and then you want to find where it says code and then download the zip file which is going to be the add-on okay so that's how you basically import and do all of these things that I'm doing with this kind of panel 
this is the panel that you're going to get. Anyways, here's my camera, my native Blender camera by default. I'm going to be selecting that one, and then this is going to switch automatically, and then you can see that there is model and motion, so click on import. And then I'm going to target my directory. I see the camera VMD, this is the one that I'm interested in, import VMD camera. Don't pay attention to that error because you already got the keyframes right here. So I'm going to press home so that I can focus this entire thing and then you can see that all the animation is there. The camera already has its own uh, FOV and it works as intended when you press zero on the numpad. Now if you press play, you're going to see the camera. You're going to see the camera activate the way it was intended. Now that's amazing. Okay, so that was that, and if you play back, of course, you're going to keep listening to the sound, but you can mute it if you select it and then press H. Hide, that's the command that we're going to use on this strip. Alt H will unmute it, okay? So that's how you use that. I hope all of these tips really help you on your next video for <laughs> the MMD animations that you really like to do. Hopefully, you will come back for the next video where we are going to talk about the shading method for Jelen's face. Okay, thank you very much. My name is Pierre Schiller, and if this is your first time coming into my channel, I've been teaching Blender for about five years now, and please don't forget to subscribe, and if you really like this and it has helped you, don't forget that you have this new button where it says thanks, where you can leave your appreciation with a small donation to the channel. It really helps a lot. Every little bit helps a lot to continue to produce this kind of videos. Thank you very much.